Libra, welcome to your reading. This is going to be an overall general energy reading for my Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Keep in mind, I trust that when these messages find your Libra, they are your messages at that time. All of my readings are timeless, Libra. Libra, I hope this message finds you while you're in good health and good will. And I hope that you do something you love to do today, tonight, this afternoon, wherever you're at in the world. Just because you deserve to do it, Libra. Hmm. Hmm. Overall energy is the hangman, Libra. You have the Empress, Libra, and energy right here. So you are coming through strong right now in your reading. We have the hangman. You're being asked. Hmm. I feel I feel as though you're being asked to sacrifice something, really. Usually I see the hangman differently. But right now I think you're being asked to sacrifice something. Could be a, your point of view. Yeah, <laughs> the devil. Okay, I'm tapped in with spirit. Let's go. I feel like you're being asked to sacrifice something that you are connected with right now or an energy that you tend to connect with that is really um, contributing to your stress or anxiety or pain, misery, or just it's just contributing to you, to the prevention of you stepping into a path or chapter where you can be at your highest vibration we have the world card after that you have only major arcanas right now libra this is a very important reading <clears throat> so hear my words <laughs> you've come to the end of this cycle with this devil energy it's t it's attached to you libra the empress this is you a very vibrant beautiful nurturing compassionate being somebody that always has more than enough but with this devil attached to you you could be indulging in more than enough. You know, you could be putting up with more than enough. You could be just not seeing, and you don't see it. But with your overall energy being the hangman, or you do see it, and you just aren't ready to let it go. Overall energy being the hangman, it tells me right now is a very important and vital time for you, Libra, to look at things from a different perspective so that you can see them for what they are. See, these people, places, and things that you've been holding on to, Libra, they're draining you of your life force energy, you being the empress with the devil attached. <clears throat> Just look, you're looking away. Look at this empress and this devil card. You are literally, you are aware of it. You are aware of it, what it is. You're scared to look at it, but your body is facing it. It has some type of hold over you, Libra, some type of latch onto your soul, your energetic being, your energetic body. And look, even just look at these little lion creatures at the bottom of this world card. Like they're looking at each other in disgust, like they know, like they have to sit next to each other, but they know they don't want to. They know they're bad for each other. They know they don't like each other, but they're still attached. And one of them's devil colored, like this fool. <laughs> and one of them is yellow or whatever. Golden like you, Libra. Because you're fucking golden and beautiful. But you come to the end or the completion of that cycle. You've learned all you're going to learn from this devil. Sometimes as human beings, we get attached to these things. These people, places, and things. Not knowing what they are before we get so deep into it. Halfway through, realize it's the devil. But then we also end up realizing that. It feels good or it treats me nice right now or, you know, if we don't realize the the degree to which it is controlling us or it has a hold over us. And so we just grow comfortable with the fact that, oh, it's it's what I know now or it's all I've ever known. So let me just know, Libra, you got to deal with that shit. Once you learned your lessons, you got to keep progressing and moving on as a being, as a soul, as a person for your, for just for the betterment of yourself, Libra. Under that, we have the two of wands. You're struggling. You're, you're, you're having, especially with the hangman, 
you're having a hard time seeing your way out of this, out of this situation, out of this karmic cycle, really. Seeing your way out of this thing that, um, yeah, it once, it once brought you a lot of, uh, I want to say passion. It once brought you into a, a state of mind, really, of just like feeling alive again. And that's why you're, you're having a hard time looking the other way. You're having a hard time seeing it for what it is. Having an easy time just looking the other way as if you don't see it, you know, because of what it has done for you in the past. But this world card, this is, that's spirit. And when spirit comes in a reading, it's like, you got to make a choice now or later, but not later, <laughs> you know? Page of Pentacles reverse. You learned all you were going to learn from this cycle, Libra. I'll just re-say it because the page is here. The Page of Pentacles is somebody who, you know, they seek out more knowledge because they want to be better versed in whatever topic they're trying to understand. They want to know more information so that they can be better at the thing they're trying to do. But Page of Pentacles reverse is somebody that they're no longer seeking information or they have no desire to seek that information, to seek that knowledge and wisdom in your case with the empress is because you already have all of the knowledge and wisdom that you will gain from this situation with this devil libra mm, spirit thank you nine of swords reverse yeah libra <clears throat> you're staying because it's not hurting you physically you're staying because it's not hurting you physically Although that might just be a perception that you have in order to keep it, keep it around, you know? And even if it is not hurting you physically, the spirit saying you learned all you needed to from that cycle. So it's, it's hurting you on, on other levels. It's hurting you spiritually. It's hurting you emotionally. It's hurting you, you know, psychologically maybe. And we got temperance, more spirit. Seven of Swords reverse. You don't. <laughs> I feel like spirit is either filling this cup right here with the truth, the straight up truth. And that's forcing you to enter this hangman energy because now you have no choice but to see. Or your angels are really protecting you and gifting you with the truth, Libra. They're facilitating your healing process from this devil and through this devil with the truth. Now you see it for what it is. Now you can enter this state and being of healing, but be patient and gentle with yourself with temperance, Sagittarian energy. Be very patient with yourself and gentle, Libra, because when we get wrapped up in these strong, you have a lot of major arcana. Um, when we get wrapped up in these strong, like energetically bold energies, like major arcana stuff, um it's hard to it's hard to exit those energies they're like kind of like fixed signs you know in astrology like taurus leo um aquarius like it's a uh, it's not just something that you can enter and exit whenever you feel like it it's not it's not no major arcana shit and the fact that you had the devil shows me that it was it's this is this is hard to get into, and it's probably even harder to get out of. So be gentle with yourself. Allow your angels, your guides, seek their knowledge, seek their wisdom. You know, look at the situation from a different perspective than you ever were able to before. Think about more than... <sighs> Devil again on the split. Libra. Think about the situation just differently. Because... If you keep this in your life any longer, with the Ten of Cups in reverse right here, it's depleting your emotional health now. Three of Swords, Magician reverse. It's just going to pull you farther and farther away from the path that you're really meant to be on, Libra. At the end of the day. Sorry. I just heard a different deck, but I want to... Okay, Spirit. Hmm. So Libra, from what I can understand, you're dealing with something, Libra, 
that, you know, Libra, one of your cards in the major arcana is justice, speaks to balance. Even, even the astrological symbol, symbol for Libra is the scales, maintaining a balance in your life. With this devil in your life and the ten of cups we just saw reverse, it's telling me that you're you're somewhat out of balance at the very least, right? Like at the least. To start this off, we have the six of pentacles, right? With the hangman, this is you turning a blind eye to being in or out of balance within yourself, your reality, your life, your body, your mind, your soul. You turning a blind eye, you looking the other way, you looking at balance, the concept of balance of what being balanced really means for your soul, not what your ego says balance is. Because sometimes we can tell ourselves lies. We can look in the mirror and lie to ourselves and really convince ourselves that we're telling ourselves the truth when we know something is not good for us because we're not ready to deal with and process that thing that is not good for us. That person, place, thing, habit, addiction, mindset, mind frame, that part of ourself, you know? And that part of ourself is our ego, the part of ourself that tells us, oh, you know, drinking 87 beers in a night is, it's okay if I do it because uh, I've been doing it for a week, for a month, for years, and I'm still alive. Like that part of ourselves, like obviously that's not good for you. you. But there's a part of you with this hangman, devil energy, six of pentacles, that is trying to convince yourself, Libra. I try to keep my readings peaceful, but this is a serious reading, okay? Um, and it is peaceful, but it's this is like important for some Libras out there. It's important to be real with ourselves and actually have an, uh, a realistic give and take relationship with ourselves, right? So right now, Libra, I'm seeing you as all three of these people. I'm seeing you as the Libra who can give, the Libra who can receive, and the Libra who can ask for more. You know, the Libra who can ask in general, the Libra who can put their pride to the side and ask if they don't have anything, ask if they need help, ask if they, you know, you know, Libra. The Libra that knows how to be the nurturer, the provider, the receiver all at once, you know? And with this magician, it's telling you, Libra, you have all the tools necessary to solve this problem that you have, to solve this, mm, I won't say problem, to solve this, like, to solve this nuisance, <laughs> to solve this path deterior in your life. And with the hangman, you're just, you. I feel like a part of you already knows that you have all you need. But with this hangman, it's like, in order to really tap in and get to that level because you have the devil with you or the devil like you like because you have this thing with you that is keeping you bound and chained to be blind to reality with this eight of swords you're not seeing that you have everything you need or you don't feel like you have all the power you need all the strength all the courage you need to rid yourself of this and refine your true balance but with the hang and that's because you just need to look through the lens of the hangman, Libra. You need to look through the lens of somebody that, you know, is a blank slate, a, a blank canvas, clean page. As if somebody who has never even met this devil that you're dealing with, this person, place, thing, habit, addiction. With the Eight of Swords, it tells me, and the Six of Pentacles, and the Magician, everything is right in front of you, and you're choosing not to see it. That's what I'm saying. It's that, it's that voice in your mind, especially with the Swords. There's that voice in your mind, right? That's telling you you're stuck. That's telling you you can't get out. That's telling you that it's holding you back. No, Libra, you are holding yourself back from freeing yourself, reclaiming your power, thus reclaiming your balance. It is you. It is an aspect of yourself, aspect of your mind that tells you you don't have enough, that tells you you cannot ask for help, that tells you you can't be many things at once and be whatever you need to be in order to get yourself out of the situation, Libra. Because I know you can. And to end that spread, we have the world again, Libra. The cycle is done. It's completed. It's dried out. That shit washed up, empty. Let it go. 
that was once who you identified as or what you identified with or whom you identified with that is no longer who this version of you libra can identify with because it is depleting your emotional psychological happiness possibly even physical happiness with the pentacles here with the six of pentacles you need to refine your balance you need to refine your way libra baby tarot says what what does the baby's tarot tell us libra Ace of Pentacles reverse. Five of Cups reverse. Knight of Wands. Hmm. <laughs> Honestly, I see this as an energy of just being fed up. Like you're getting fed up with yourself. For keeping this around so long or just you're just coming to terms with the fact that it is time to move on and move forward i think you've missed out on enough opportunities you've robbed yourself of enough mm, you you've 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 uh missed out on enough you know i feel like you, you there was a couple things that happened libra with this ace of pentacles reverse there was a couple things in your life that happened where you felt you should have been a part of, or you should have been, you know, um, what's the word? A participant in something that you should have been offered, something that you should have been given, but you missed out on it because you were dealing with that devil. And this five of cups reverse tells me in the center that, see the five of cups is somebody that just, is just sad that they have to move on because they know what they need to move on from. But the five of cups reverse is somebody that, you know, you just you just know you have to move on you just know it's time you just know that something needs to be released and i feel like it's gotten to the point because it's been here for so long and now you're missing out on new beginnings and shit like that that you're just not even you're not even really that sad about it you're not even that broken hearted about it you know there's a lot of memories in that but the fact that it was keeping you in this energy, this tied up, stuck energy, make you believe that you're stuck type of energy. You just got fed up and now your emotions are just like, well, shit, I'm tired of losing out on these opportunities. I'm tired of disappointing myself. I'm I'm not even sad about this no more. Like, it's time to fucking get rid of this or deal with it or like come to a new, come to new terms with it. You know, person, place, thing, habit, addiction part of yourself whatever and we have the knight of wands after and that's just being courageous being bold moving forward taking action the knight of wands i think i said knight of wands sorry but it is a knight of wands the knight of wands is somebody that's going to be the first one out into battle you know you're not even going to have to ask them to go sacrifice themselves to go you know to be the first one to jump they're just going to do it because that's the type of fucking heart they have it's the type of personality they have so when it comes to these lack of new beginnings and you know tired of being disappointed in yourself just being fed up with your lack of new beginnings because you're like now okay i'm done with that shit i'm ready to bring more passion vitality creativity abundance emotion into my life into my heart into my being so i gotta remove this devil in order to get that and so you do that libra <clears throat> what's crazy is None of those were even your cards. I should be flowing different. That deck is fucked. Libra, here we go, here we go. Mm, you got something you need to remove though. Mm. Are you seeing yourself, Libra? Are you seeing yourself in this situation for what it actually is? Not what you want it to be. It's very important, Libra, that you see yourself for who you really are. Even if you're not ready to accept who that person is, how you change that is by seeing yourself for who you are. You know, if you're not, if you're not, happy with certain aspects of yourself, certain parts of yourself that continue to stay attached or certain parts of yourself that, you know, that you just want to improve in general. The only way to 
to heal those, to build on those, to progress on those, Libra, is if we acknowledge that they exist, is if we acknowledge 2020 on the timestamp, is if we acknowledge that they exist within us. Because all of us have undesirable aspects of us. Nobody's perfect, right? I mean, if you think you're, if, if anyone thinks they're perfect, well, it would be nice to live in your mind, right? <laughs> It'd be so nice to live in your mind. The only thing that is perfect. I can't even think of anything, really. I was going to say, like, spirit. Spirit might be perfect, but I don't know. I don't know. Because some crazy shit be happening sometimes, right? First card out. Recognize divine timing. But right now, spirit's being perfect for you. Spirit's trying to put you in the position to escape. Look. This person's jumping, stepping into the unknown, but they're also blindfolded. They don't need to see where they're going. They don't need to see what the outcome is going to be. They just know. This is hangman energy as fuck. This is just doing whatever the fuck feels, do whatever you feel called to do, really. This is taking that bold step that spirit is encouraging you to take. Train just fucking honks. Choo-choo. I don't know the word for it. <laughs> This is spirit saying, take that step. Trust me. You'll be all right. Trust me. You'll be all right. And this is you needing to just trust spirit. Trust that when you hear the call to let that thing go or let that person go or, you know, go to this place, go to that place. It might just lead to the healing you need to release yourself, to release yourself from this devil. Oh, wow. Stop breaking agreements. This person's blindfolded too. There's something you're not seeing, Libra. There's something you don't want to see. And I think you could be, you, be you, you know, this speaks to like somebody that says they're going to do something and they just don't do it. Point blank, period. Breaking agreements. Giving your word, but your word means, means not much when it comes to certain things. But these people are running towards each other. This is spirit. And you coming together. This is spirit saying, jump, go, walk into the unknown. Trust me. Look at life through the lens of the hangman. Look at life through the lens of somebody that sees the world upside down. You know, it's opposite day today, Libra. So that thing that you always do, that person you always go to, that, that's not so good for you, like, do the opposite today. You know, just trust. Just trust me, spirit. That's what spirit said to you, Libra. Just trust me. <clears throat> This is so counter everything I just said, but it's a no. <laughs> but I don't think that's what Spirit's saying. I think... I think that's going to mean something different. That answer is going to be different for every single Libra that's watching this reading. Uh, I don't think it's a no as far as trusting Spirit, trusting your higher power. You should always trust your higher power. And whatever it calls you or you feel drawn to do because your higher power has nothing but its best interest at heart for you, Libra. I think it's a no speaks to, I mean, it comes after recognize divine timing, stop breaking agreements. It's a no. So I think you just need to trust that sometimes we have to say no to ourselves. Sometimes that's the hardest part. That's the hardest thing to do because we have free will, because we are, a, you know, sovereign, because we, if we choose to be, um, because we have that power over ourselves and our reality, we have the ability to say no to ourselves, to our intuition, to our spirit, to our calling, to our whatever we're drawn to do. We have the ability to say no, Libra. But what happens when we say no? What happens? Then we get caught up when we, when we say no to things that we feel genuinely called to do. When we say no to those things, then we feel like we're in this bind. You see this tissue wrapping around this person? It's like that eight of swords we saw earlier when you were all tied up. So maybe saying no to yourself is breaking this agreement, you know? Telling yourself, 
no, not today. I'm not releasing it today. It's breaking this agreement. This says stop breaking agreements. Look, when you break this agreement, Libra, you put it on yourself. You put the chain on yourself. You put the, the bind on yourself. You become the devil to your own life in a way. It's no longer this person, place, or thing holding you back. It's yourself because you know it's not good for you and you still do it. You still participate. You still embody it. So you need to recognize the divine timing and start walking another direction. Mm. So far all we have is the hangman. Every reading is different though. We have abuse on the split. So this devil could be of somewhat of an abusive nature to you, whether it's the way you talk to yourself, the way you treat yourself, the way you let others treat you, a habit, an addiction, or a person. It could be something of abuse or just the fact that you've been within it, within its energy for so long, you know, and knowing that you need to get out of it, but staying, that could be the root of the abuse. Under we have desperation. So Libra, I think this is just something that you might feel as though they are desperate or it is desperate for your attention or it's just something that you just have had it for so long you've been in it for so long you've been doing it for so long that it has become desperation without knowing it's desperation meaning it's become something that you just are dependent on like it's, it's become habitual it's a habit it's like it's it's, it's just something you do and you gotten so comfortable doing it that you don't, it's it's automatic, you know? And that's where the desperation comes. Like, I don't think this is spirit saying you're desperate for anything. I think this is spirit saying you're you're in deep. You've been in deep. You've been in, in that thing deeply. Some people won't like this reading, but this is a real one. Look, temptation and denial. Libra. This is spirit trying to say something to you. It's temptation and denial. And we have defense on the bottom. Look, don't get defensive. Don't be telling yourself no. Don't be telling you it's a no. Don't be telling yourself no, no, that's not me. No, no, that's not that's not, that's not resonating for me. We all got something, right? We all got something that we don't want to believe is us. <laughs> you know, that part of us. We all have a part of us that we don't want to admit is there. So we're scared to look at it, you know? So we don't look at it. So we put these blindfolds on, on ourselves even but we got temptation that's devil ass energy and denial that's devil ass energy too and so is defense really but defense is more humanist that's more ego energy that's more you know the devil is ego as fuck but like denial is the part of ourselves that is not ready to see ourselves you know or ready to see our situation for what it is or see that person, that thing for what it is, what it's doing to us. Because we got caught up in the temptation that became desperation, you know? Not even realizing what it was doing. Now we're in denial, Libra. That leads to denial, you know? And then once we get into, into denial, but spirit is waking us up because we got recognized divine timing. The hangman, once you see shit for what it is, because spirit's putting you in that lens, right? Look, there is, there's the only reason that we get so defensive is because we don't want to admit we're in denial. <laughs> so fucking backwards, really, but that's facts. We have wrath on the split. So it's like, Libra, you can only run from this for so long because the longer you keep it in your life, the more destruction it's going to cause, the more you're going to lose out on more of those opportunities with those that Ace of Pentacles reverse, right? The more you're going to find yourself blaming other people for choices that you're making. All you need to do, Libra, is be gentle with yourself. Love yourself. Choose love. Literally choose to love yourself. And sometimes that means saying no. It's a no to that devil because that devil is the thing that keeps you from loving yourself look bottom of the deck we have redemption libra this is the season where you redeem yourself 30 on the timestamp. this is the season where you redeem yourself 
your image, your status, your self-love, your self-respect. This is the season of redemption, Libra. And it never felt so good, huh? It never felt so good under that Gaia, the Earth Mother, the goddess of creation. We have creation under this, after redemption, after you redeem yourself, Libra. Now you're, you're, now you're the, now you're in control of the narrative again, of how your life is going to play out, what you're going to pick, the people, places, and things that you choose that are going to be of the higher vibration, healthier manner for your soul, your being, your entity. Now you are in the driver's seat again, Libra, and not whatever this devil energy was, right? Now defense is in the reverse. You're because you're accepting yourself and your situation for what it was because you got that redemption because you put in the work and you put in the time to redeem yourself, to redeem your name, to redeem the disrespect that people were just tossing at you left and right, but you didn't even see it or didn't want to see it because you were convinced it was all that you knew and you were convinced that it was good for you or you were just convinced that it wasn't there because whatever was doing it to you, even the, an aspect of yourself wanted you to be convinced of those things. Mm-mm-mm. Under that, we have guilt. So yeah, you might you might have feelings of guilt, drama. You might have feelings of guilt, you know. Some days might be a little dramatic for you, Libra. Um, but we got prosperity right here. So just know that you're going to see your way through. You are going to redeem yourself. And you are going to take back your power from that devil. We, we don't like the devil in, over here. Okay, Libra? <laughs> you're going to take back your power, your influence, your autonomy your sovereignty with the king of pentacles you're going to be the one in control again even if you feel like you're in control now look a little deeper look a little deeper what controls you if the answer is nothing then this is probably for a different different group of libras but the libras that this i'm talking to right now there's something in your life that has had a hold on you um, it, it, it tempts you, you know, it puts you into that state of temptation. It makes you, it also puts you in states of denial. It makes you feel as though you're in control as a form of manipulation. You know, it makes you feel like you're in control because it wants you to believe you are that little voice in your head that tells you it's okay to do this and that when it's actually fucking up your whole plan, you know? Fucking up spirits plan for you. We got to take care of that, Libra. It's time for you to take that power back, truly. And feel like the beautiful, powerful, balanced Libra that you are. Right? Nine of Pentacles. Look, all you need is you. A little fucking bit of fresh air. Some trees, some birds. And you're going to be all right. That's all you need. Because Nine of Pentacles, look. Look what's on the flip. Nine of Swords reversed. All you need is you. All you need is to see that with the hangman as your overall energy. You need to just see that I am enough. Say it with me, Libra. Comment it right now. I am enough. I am enough. Libra, you are so much more than enough. You always have been. It's so natural and understandable as human beings to get lost in these energies these things that we you know we use them as distractions we use that person we don't use them but we end up accepting them into our lives as a distraction right these these devil energies it's never on purpose right and you know exactly what i'm talking about with the seven of cups reverse you you know what i'm talking about for you libra you know what it is we use these things as a distraction because life is heavy and there's so much going on and people are being born and lost and everything in between. And life is hard and it's tough, Libra. And I totally get it. <clears throat> but you need to not forget that you only used it as a distraction at one point in time. So let it be just that. Understand that you were always enough and you always will be enough for yourself. You will always be enough. You're enough for me, Libra. 
can tell you that right now because I see you moving on, breaking through and getting these new beginnings, get, uh, hitting a new level in life that you have not been in a long time with this chariot. You're on the move to something bigger and greater than yourself, Libra. It's because on the seven, and that no, chariot's major arcana number seven. And with the seven of cups on the split reverse again, tells me you know exactly where you're going now you know why you're going there and it's for you it's to take back your power libra i know you're hearing me i know it i know you're hearing me libra some say take them all yep because we got the knight of wands you look you're fucking on the run you're on the move you are happy about it too you're excited look empress again uh ten of swords reverse you're leaving that pain behind, not looking back and embodying your energy once again. That's how we started the reading off. I, t I tell you what, Libra. I tell you what. This is a beautiful progression of energies for yourself, Libra. Um, To start this spread off, we have the Hermit Virgo energy. So yes, in order to even recognize, understand that there is a problem, you're probably going to need to be a recluse for a little bit. I think that's the word to be, you know, draw your energy within yourself, look inwards, do some uh, deep and heavy self-reflection oh, and because that's gonna bring this clarity for you with the Ace of Swords. The clarity to give you that breakthrough I was talking about with that chariot, right? You need, you need some type of idea, some type of stimulus, something to stimulate your mind, an epiphany of sorts in order to enter the, the the energy of the chariot, in order to enter this energy of the Knight of Wands, this forward or I don't know where it went. I swear I saw the Knight of Wands. Oh yeah, yeah. To enter this Knight of Wands, right? In order to enter this forward moving state of being, this pr progressive state of being, and that comes in the form of the Ace of Swords after you do some inner work, inner reflection, inner self analysis. And now we got the eight of wands. You're just moving. This is movement, 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 moving on, moving forward, you know? And this is like movement that's not even just you wanting to do it. This is like you're divinely guided to move. You are divinely guided to grow. And I feel like you're being very open and honest about what you need right now because you have the empress and the eight of uh, wands. You're being very real with yourself and the people around you that can help you, you know, entering that beautiful six of pentacles energy that we were needing from you earlier. Um, yeah, entering that beautiful, beautiful energy, right? And accepting the fact that you don't have it all figured out, that you know you're, you're more than enough with the empress, but you also know that the past was difficult for you. And so it's okay to, you know, not have to bear it all on your own by yourself to seek the help you need reach out to the ones you know you can that will help you you know start moving forward and being courageous enough to just choose to move forward and to end your reading libra we have something beautiful king of cups death reverse in the sun entering a new frame of mind a new state of being after this long hard fought journey you had to remove this devil right this struggle that you went through to attain redemption for yourself and your story and your path libra battling through the denial battling through the temptation that you had to face you know coming into a phase um a chapter of creation rewriting the story of your own life for the redemption and i see that redemption in the sun card that is you redeeming yourself the king of cups is you growing growing so much growing and maturing emotionally from all of the the, the whole journey of from when you met the devil everything it that happened in between and when the day you chose to start working on releasing the devil libra Devil being a metaphor for people, places, things, you know, states of minds, situations that you had to endure and go through because you just were, you were caught up in it, right? So that's what the devil is. Now, sorry about the ads. Libra, 
with death being in the reverse in the middle it just tells me or in the yeah in the middle it tells me that this is something that you've known for a long you've known about it longer than you'll admit to yourself you've known it existed right and that's why it was so hard to let go of it that's why this journey was so long that's why this minute that's why this video is 40 minutes <laughs> for real but that's okay look we all move at a different pace it's like i'm slow as fuck with everything i'm genuinely i'm scared i'm gonna lose my job because i'm late to work every fucking night like and it's not that i want to be late to work i just <laughs> i get caught i get lost in things really easily i really do but we all just move at different paces for different things right and so sometimes when the devil finds us you're going to have your own journey and you need to be able to move and be gentle with yourself at your own pace because that's that's how you're going to learn your lessons that's how you're going to complete the cycles and learn from it what you really need to because when you're being rushed by something or somebody's trying to rush you to learn something or if you do be a certain type of way like that's you're not going to learn what you need to learn that way but you, Libra, you took your time. And that's why you're so evolved now emotionally, so secure within yourself and your being and confident once again, feeling balanced once again. And to end your reading, we have the sun. And that just tells me that the better days are right. They're ahead of you, Libra. The better days are ahead. You're going to be so happy. You're going to feel like you just understand now. You just understand certain things. Why certain things happen. Why certain things had to happen. Why I had to go through this tough time or this tough time, you know? You're going to see the beauty in it. You're going to see the joy in it. You're going to see the abundance that was left behind because of it internally, Libra. Wow. What a beautiful fucking reading. You're going there, Libra. Wherever it is you need to go, you're going there. You just got to take that first step and then trust spirit, right? recognize the divine timing don't stop breaking those agreements with yourself move forward see the truth because you can you know see the truth because you can and just know that it's okay to go at it alone for a bit if you need to to get that clarity to get that silence to get that wisdom that spirit is trying to deliver to you libra it's okay if you gotta take some time to yourself <clears throat> because the pain is leaving the pain is leaving you, Libra. And you are becoming a much more courageous. This is like the emperor, if it are the emperor. This is like the empress times two. You're becoming a version of you that's just double the beauty, double the wealth, double the knowledge and wisdom. You're just you're just upgrading. Look, you're just upgrading, Libra. You just got to trust the way that things unfold. Trust that it's okay to not have it figured out. It's okay to have setbacks. It's okay to, you know, stumble, take two steps back and one step forward. It's okay. Just move at your pace. Try your absolute best because that's all any of us can do, Libra. I absolutely love you guys. And I hope that this reading finds you while you're in good health, good wealth. And I hope you do some, some shit that you love today as long as it's not that devil shit. I love you, Libra. 43.